This is an x-ray and I don't know if the lighting is problematic or not. Um, I hope you can see how that uh, coccyx is positioned slightly anteriorly. Um, certainly looks like a hyperflexed coccyx and I apologize if the lighting does not capture that. Um, anyway, this is a brief demonstration of an external coccygeal mobilization. You can certainly find examples in the literature of internal, um, but for some people, the coccyx is accessible externally. Okay, for some it's just too far forward that it isn't the case. But you can come down the sacrum, isolate coccyx, and come inferiorly and see if you can get in front of the tip of the coccyx. And in this individual, we were able to do that and it was in fact quite helpful and what we did was come down the sacrum follow the coccyx very gently spent several minutes in fact treated it for five minutes uh, you can also do this in a sideline position but I felt that it would be better visualized with the client in prone and on the, the uh, first or second day we did treat it in prone and today we also treated it in sideline and I would say that the sideline is is uh, easier in this individual but uh, I was able to get anterior to the tip of the coccyx and then bring that posterior and um, so I just want to emphasize that sometimes you can access the coccyx externally and other times you do need to use a lubricated glove and go internally. But always evaluate first to see if you can do that externally. Thank you.